again. I challenged him. I said, hey, sir, if I feel that you're talented. I feel that you have a following. And if you can entertain people without doing negative, disgusting, toxic content about me, I would applaud that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to officially congratulate Tevin on his success for breaking out and doing something positive with himself and his time and being successful at it. Because that's what it's about. And I'm actually happy for him. If this is the case, what I'm hearing is true, I'm happy for the guy. There you go. I'm not going to have sour grapes because the guy used to fucking make fun of me and be nasty to me and toxic to me and my family. Instead, I'm going to say, congrats. Now, what I would ask is that if he has any leftover toxic shit that he's doing with me, that he stop. You know, he shouldn't be doing that. That's completely messed up that he would do that. I would hope that he'd be smart enough to not do that moving forward and to, to stop doing that. You know, but I can't make him do anything, so... It's time, Phil. Fuck off, Phil. Fuck off. Get your shit together, Phil, and grow the fuck up. You, I, I could not imagine not having a partner channel and literally having to pressure my audience every single second almost that I'm streaming to give me money. You don't deserve their support, and you probably never did. It is not your viewer's responsibility to pay your fucking bills. Turn this into a side gig and get a fucking job. It hasn't been a good year for DSP. Just ignore the stupidity. I'm attempting to raise as much as possible in time for Friday's marathon of Mass Effect, um, which is basically the last chance for me to raise enough to pay uh, for my mortgage on, on Saturday. Very matter-of-factly, that's what's going on this week. Sorry about the partnership going away, but here's a way to still participate. Everyone could have emotes basically for free. The first contribution of the night was from Only Eyes Coffee, who is here. I don't know if he's still here. He was here about an hour ago. And he basically said he's warning the trolls out there not to use any names that have insulting things about my family members, including my wife, in them. It's against the rules, and he's just going to outright ban. He's not even going to give a chance, because what's the point of letting someone talk who their very name is insulting? And I 100% agree with him. Thank you, Only Ice Coffee, for the first tip here uh, of the night. $5. Appreciate that. Okay. Are we ready to get started? <clears throat> I hope so. All right. Oh, I just received a $4.20 tip. Here's, oh, from an idiot who's telling me to get a 9 to 5 job. All right, so I'm just going to ignore them. Fuck them. Okay. Turn this into a side gig and get a fucking job. Never mind. <laughs> just ignore the nonsense. All right. <clears throat> All right, Charleston Chew, you're permanently banned, and I don't ever want to hear from you ever again. I mean it. Goodbye. Okay. <clears throat> and there we go. Okay, everyone ready? All right, here we go. In the in the year of 2020, things were so good that I was like, I almost feel like things are going to swing back because that's the story of my life. My life is ups and downs, ups and downs. I call it peaks and valleys or, or what do they call those? Ebbs and, and, and waves and ebbs, right? Um... I used to call it the wave of positivity. You know, 10 years ago, when I was super popular on YouTube, I was like, this is a wave of positivity. I want to ride out till it ends. And I did, and then it went, like, completely down. Oh, I was the hated guy on YouTube, and a guy who, this is how you don't play, so hate on him because he sucks at games. And then it was like, no, he's coming back. He's going to be a live streamer. And then it's like, oh, now he's got all these problems with finances. Oh, he gets out of that problem, and now here's the next one. This is the next one. 
This is just the next one. Seriously, this is, to me, just the next hurdle to get over is losing the Twitch partnership. And I I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna make it one way or another. I'm gonna make it through it. Whether I can stay here, we can have everything work out just on Twitch, or if I have to do a hybrid of Twitch and YouTube, or if I have to go to YouTube or anything else, we're gonna figure it out, it's gonna work. One, we're gonna find a way to get through this, all right? Just don't have the, all the answers for you yet, okay? Yes, the young man will come. He will kill us all, women and children included. What should we do? What can we do? Well, you know, as I've said a million times, no, I can't apply for anything. The, the option doesn't exist. To apply for affiliate or for partner, there has to be a, a button that clicks and you go to the revenue page. Originally, when I tried, you would click on it and say that page doesn't exist anymore. Now, they've, it doesn't even, the, the button's not there anymore. What it is, is the whole page to do it changed on me like two days ago, and now there's not even a button. It's just completely empty. So, <laughs> there's no way to reapply for anything. I will never, you will never hear me say, oh, I'm such a higher echelon streamer. Absolutely not. I am very much have my own community of people who, who follow me and like what I do. I'm happy with that. I'm happy to just be here with the people who are here to chill with me and have a good time. I'm not here to be some Mr. Popular, over-the-top crazy-ass streamer. It's never going to happen. I've Thanks. accepted my fate as a, you know, a guy who has his own thing going, and I'm okay with that, so. Duck Finnet, I don't use hair grease. Huh. I heard something about that. So, you know about the letter? Hmm. Ooh. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Ah, which is it, man? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? He could say that. Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Every. Every last one? Yeah. I'm just really enjoying everything right now because <laughs> there are so many great games, right? No, I'm not wearing wigs. Stop fucking distracting everyone with stupid things about wigs. Lose just sent me another twenty dollars. Said I hope you have a good night. I hope you can get your partnership back. I'm going through some horrific times right now. Uh, sadly, my grandfather passed. My grandmother passed away. Excuse me. Keep up the good work, and more importantly, stay gold. Thank you, lose for the tip. And I'm, I'm very sorry to hear about that. I'm sorry about your loss. Thank you for the support here tonight, man. All right. So also, also the top tip of the night. Excuse me. It was our combined power that destroyed the Airy. Whole existences, entire lives, even their memories. We took it all. We took everything. My sweet, gentle sister turned into a monster. And the same thing will happen to me now that I have her power. If my instincts are as a weapon win out and destroy me in the process, if that power ends up hurting someone that I love, I... <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to take care of this. I had enough of these people fucking derailing the stream. The mods are trying to be nice, and they're being too fucking nice, so I'm just gonna take care of it myself. If I can get anything to load on my laptop, because my laptop is having a ton of issues today. What have I done? If it wasn't for you, then I'll be dead. We owe you. But... But I... It's alright. <laughs> We had best be off. Ladies and gentlemen, I just received a very generous tip. I think tonight I'm going to wear the the gray because, number one, the gray will show up better. And number two, I think people are going to want to see, uh, like, platinum tomorrow, I'm thinking. So I think we're going to go with the gray vest tonight. <clears throat> so good stuff. We bought the eggplants. We got the one item that was available at this vendor. The weapon, that is. We're good to go. Like, we're good for progress now. I actually... Barrel Stratus made a good point. He says, you know, for the Mass Effect Marathon on Friday, people are going to probably want the Platinum Vest, so I should probably save that for Friday. I guess maybe that's a good point. I was thinking, oh, people might want it for the conclusion of Resident Evil, but I guess you're right. The Marathon's kind of important, too, so... <clears throat> All right. Yeah. 
Big Papa Phil uh, tipped me two dollars. Do you think it would help if, if fans wrote to Twitch asking for me to be repartnered and explain how much we enjoy the community? I feel bad because sometimes it seems like you have no options. Listen, you know. Here, here's the thing. You absolutely know that probably a large chunk of Dr. Disrespect's fan base probably contacted Twitch behind the scenes and were like, what gives? We love the guy. We don't understand what he did wrong. We want him reinstituting. Did Twitch give a shit? Right? I am peanuts compared to him. Peanuts. That guy was probably making them, no lie, hundreds of thousands of dollars of revenue a year, and they got rid of him. So if they got rid of him, I can't even fathom a reason why they would contemplate not getting rid of me. If they think that there was some issue, there was some problem, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I can't even give, a, you know, uh, uh, instant. I can't think of a one reason why they would consider it if they didn't do anything for him. So, I don't think, honestly, it's going to do much, Big Papa Phil. I'm just being honest here. I think that, sadly, what's done is done. It was their decision. They're going to stick with it no matter what. That's why they don't even want to respond to me. When I ask, hey, am I going to get paid for the three weeks that I worked under the partner program? Hey, am I going to uh, ever be able to reapply? and be able to be affiliate or partner again, they will not give me an answer. And I think that is their new policy as a company. Just don't answer anything, and that way no one can ever hold you accountable. Which is bullshit, of course. You sh they should be held accountable. But it seems like that's just their policy now. Um, I thought about shaving. I would look younger. I mean, I like my beard, and so does my wife. So I'm going to keep it. Maybe one day I won't like it anymore, and I want to get rid of it. But I like it. Now we got Carmen doing a giant spam to emo, and he thinks that he's immune from punishment. He is not. That is not allowed. And if I see that again, he's banned permanently. I think that was Carmen. Or whoever did that. It's not allowed. Stop that right now. I received an anonymous $5 tip, likely from a stolen credit card. So thank you very much for the anonymous $5 tip. Thanks for the tip. Whoever this so, is from, were thank you. you. Able to write that letter? I don't wonder if he's brave or stupid, or both. I guess he could be brave and stupid. Stop! Don't hurt these people. I guess we're not gonna get much of an explanation. We got backstory, but we didn't get explanation, right? All right, very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great stream of near replicant side b run we are making great strides great progress uh next time it looks like we'll be able to do the treasure map probably do the mission the facade mission and probably do the post facade side missions that are needed after that essentially all that's left would be all right everyone good stuff right and by the way you guys are just being so silly with those better twitch tv emotes i hope you guys are enjoying those too thank you guys again for an incredibly supportive day i will see you all in the am for the conclusion of resident evil sound good all right, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Peace out.